Hi, I'm Deborah Klein, the Registered Dietitian and Health Director with Organic Liaison. Here's my dietitian video blog, week number 29. My topic is protein supplementation for muscle mass. Getting a lot of questions whether people should add protein powders to their life. They're working out, they're weightlifting, they want to increase their muscle mass, have optimal muscle gain. So they're asking me, do I need protein supplementation, protein powders? The answer is, it depends. If you are, the bottom line, if you are working out, lifting weights, and you want to add protein into your diet, we got to look at what your overall dietary protein is before we think about adding protein supplementation. Because the amount of protein you put in you, you want to make sure you're utilizing it. Because what happens, the ramifications of eating too much protein is damage to your liver, damage to your kidney, dehydration, muscle fatigue, not conducive to working out, and not conducive to optimal health. You want to work out, attain optimal health in the process. So you don't want to do excess protein, bottom line. Excess protein causes an increase in nitrogen in your body. There's nitrogen in every amino acid. So when we overdo it in protein, we're overdoing it on nitrogen, and the liver has to produce that to urea, and the kidney has to excrete it as urine. So it takes a lot of water to do that process, and it's a lot of overworking your liver and your kidney by doing that process. So we don't want to overwork it. I had one patient who actually got blood in his urine, and he was in his early 30s. He was like 33, 34, and he got blood in his urine by overdoing it on protein supplementation. So don't want to go there. So bottom line, what's recommended is if you are sedentary, you're not working out, have 0.4 grams per pound body weight. That's how much you need for your total grams of protein. If you are doing recreational aerobic activity endurance, 0.6 grams of per pound body weight is recommended. And if you are doing weightlifting, strength training, 0.7 grams per kilogram body weight is good. So if you're a 170 pound male, your recommended protein needs are 119 grams. So 170 times 0.7 is 119 grams of protein per day. And to know how to get your grams of protein, an ounce of protein is seven grams. So if you have an egg, seven grams of protein. An ounce of chicken, seven grams of protein. An ounce of cheese, a slice of cheese, seven grams of protein. Really, bottom line, seven grams per ounce is a good general rule of thumb, okay? So we don't want to overdo it on protein, and specifically when you are thinking about doing some protein powders, Choose an all-natural one. I really like adding shelled hemp seeds, so a real food source base for your protein is much better. Because those protein powders they have out there are all these single amino acids added to it, artificial flavors, artificial colors. So you want to look at the ingredients. It's organic whole soybean or organic whey protein or just egg whites. I like those pasteurized liquid egg whites. Don't do it the rocky way of having it raw because that could be increasing salmonella risk. You don't want to go there. So pasteurized liquid egg whites, those organic pasteurized liquid egg whites, those are great to add into a smoothie with some vegetables, some fruit, some organic Greek yogurt, okay, some low-fat Greek yogurt. Or you could do the shelled hemp seeds that I like, just put that in a smoothie, it's delicious. Or you could do whey protein, but just make sure that it's whole whey protein, that it's not the protein isolate, protein concentrate. That's when you can be you know, at a risk of having overworking your liver and your kidney. Okay, so stick with all the natural. Follow the recommendations that I made about 0.7 grams per pound body weight if you are weightlifting. You do need to eat protein post-workout because that's what we need to build our muscle mass. Okay, you want to have carbohydrate and protein post-workout. And before workout, at least carbohydrate. If you're working out more than an hour and a half, you also want to do a little protein before working out. Okay, so post-workout, try to eat within an hour, hour and a half post-workout or you won't get optimal repletion of your glycogen stores. And make sure you do eat that protein, enough protein to fill the muscle mass. All right, cheering you on. Enjoy.